what's up everyone so obviously by the title of this video I'm gonna be sharing my skincare routine for the beginning of 2023 now my skincare changes pretty often just because I feel like my skin starts to get used to the products that are once effective for it if that makes sense so it's like I'll start using a product and I'll start seeing results but then after a couple months it just stops being as effective so then I normally change up the products some of the problems that I have with my skin just tend to be dryness and then the occasional breakout but then once I have those occasional breakouts the pimples kind of tend to like linger which I'll show you on my cheek with better lighting um, I just have a lot of like pimple scars slash pimple marks so they end up just being like red dots on my face even though I don't pop most of my pimples I only pop some of them that just kind of tends to be my problems as far as my skin goes I'm pretty lucky actually after puberty like I don't really have that many bad like breakouts which you can see on my skin like I don't there's no filter on my camera this is just kind of how my face looks in this bathroom there's terrible lighting but I'm just gonna be talking about some of the products that I use so I'm just gonna put my hair up really quick and change up the camera angle and then we'll get into the skincare routine so I just wanted to to show you guys like this is just my one cheek you can see like I have two pimples but then the rest of these are all just kind of like red marks which I'll probably take a picture like on my phone or something but you can kind of see like I don't really oh wow <laughs> my big ass forehead um I don't really have any other pimples besides like on my cheek right now which is great for me but also um I do wear a mask to work now so I think that's kind of why I've been having a lot of issues with like my cheeks recently um, I normally don't really get pimples on my forehead anymore um, I do also have like a pretty clean diet I don't have a lot of processed or fried food so really like a lot of the pimples that I get are just either hormonal or just from like my pillowcase or the mask I, that's what I tell myself but this is honestly as good as it's gonna get. I'm just gonna look bald throughout this entire video, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. But here is me with my little hair up, right? Kind of cute, whatever. I'm doing my skincare. So again, I'm so sorry for the lighting, but I just started off with this Hurdy Pink Mars Oil. So this is just really good for moisturizing and everything, so I just put... So I normally just put like a couple pumps into my hand and then just kind of... And I really like to use this in the morning, but it really helps with moisturizing my skin. And it does have some ingredients in it to help with the fine lines and wrinkles on your face. So it, so it can be helpful for anti-aging as well. But I just really love the way that it feels and it smells so good. Uh, again, like in the morning, especially before I go to work, um, it just feels really nice and refreshing and also like I don't know if it's supposed to be like this but it definitely has like a cooling factor to it so I just like to spread that all throughout my face and I do really like to kind of focus on like my cheeks and everything because that's where I have a lot of the dryness in my skin and then I also just have this anti-aging from Hurivi and it just comes in these little capsules and you just take one out so they just kind of break off like this and you just take one of these little capsules and you twist this little top piece off just like that and you just pour it into your hand like so and then again just like the Mars oil you just put it all over your skin and this stuff is used for anti-aging and honestly like I don't need anti-aging stuff so I haven't been using this daily by any means. It definitely feels good like putting it on your skin, it's just that like I don't have that many wrinkles for it to like be really effective. This just softens lines on your skin from smiling and even if you have like crow's feet or even wrinkles on the top of your forehead. It helps repair your skin barrier, which is great for how your skin looks. So it has a couple other benefits other than anti-aging, but it has a lot of hyaluronic acid, so that is really great for your skin. And then lastly, after that, I just use these collagen balls, also from Revy. 
and these are actually really cool so they just come in these little capsules so you just take one out of the box and once you take it out of the box you just take the top off and then there's just this little ball of collagen and you just leave it in the container like so and you take one of your favorite toners so you can use any toner you want so I just have the Neutrogena alcohol free toner and pretty much all you do is you put some of the toner into the little pod until the collagen ball is completely dissolved which you guys won't really be able to see that but it only takes like a couple drops and then once you notice that the collagen ball is completely dissolved you just want to take a little cotton ball and honestly, you can just do it with your hands, but I just find that you get a lot more product when you put it on the cotton ball. Um, because sometimes like the liquid just ends up like running all over your hands. And then again, you just want to put that all over your skin. And I like to use the Mars oil in the morning, but then I like to do this after my shower before I go to bed. Um, again, it just feels really refreshing. And I feel like it just helps get any dead skin off that didn't come off in the shower. Make sure to get my jawline. And you can kind of see like on the cotton ball, if the lighting in here was better. I'll take a picture of it and I'll also put that. But you can see like some of the dead skin. It makes it look really firm. So especially with the anti-aging, I feel like everything combined, it just makes your skin look so much nicer. And again, it does just help stimulate the skin growth and to help resurface your skin and help with the appearance of it. And this is just the cleanser that I like to use in the shower. This has been really helpful for me and my skin personally. I really recommend using this. I notice a lot of changes just within a couple of days. And then when I have really stubborn pimples, I like to use this. Um, hyaluronic acid serum from CeraVe. Again, I only use it occasionally because I do find that this also does, this can also cause some other breakouts for me. I don't know if that's just because my skin is maybe a little bit more sensitive, but I do really like to use that on occasion. If I feel like my skin is really dry, I like to use this Mario Badescu spray. Um, in the lavender scent, I used to have the regular rose water one, but then this is the one that I've gotten recently. And again, it just, it smells so good. Um, and I just feel like it helps hydrate my skin. It's really quick and easy. I also use it if I have any makeup on, which most of the time I don't wear makeup. And I love to use Mighty Patches on my breakouts. Um, I really like the Neutrogena ones as well. Um, the Starface ones, to me personally, aren't very effective, but I really, really like these. Um, I have a bunch of different ones. I have the nose ones, I have the cheek ones, so I really, really like these. They've been really effective for me as well, especially with my occasional breakouts. It just helps when I have a, a white head. Um, it, they go away a lot quicker, in my opinion. And then I also just recently got a gua sha for Christmas, so I've been using that pretty much daily um, and it feels really nice. Even though this doesn't really have to do with skincare, I feel like it kind of does because it's just part of my morning routine. Wow, I like how my claw clip is literally falling out. Um, but yeah, so I also really like to do this in the morning. So that is my skincare routine for the very start of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've been trying to find more products that work for my skin and that really help and make me feel better about my skin. I just want to give a big thank you to Haridi for sending me some of these products. I haven't been using them for a super long time, but before the time that I have been using them, I've really been liking the way that it makes my skin feel. I just feel so, I don't know, I feel like my skin just looks glowy throughout the day and it just feels so much smoother and better. I don't know. So let me know down below what skincare products you guys like to use. I also just like to use a regular like lotion if I feel like it needs some extra hydrating throughout the day. But other than that, I try to keep my skincare routine pretty simple. Again, don't forget to comment down below some of your favorite skincare products and maybe I'll probably try them out in the next couple months or so. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one and I will see you guys next time. Bye!